Background radiation from vegetables, fruits, and food in general is a result of the natural radioactive elements present in the environment. This type of radiation is often referred to as natural background radiation. It primarily comes from three sources. Radioactive elements in soil. The Earth's crust contains various naturally occurring radioactive elements, such as uranium, thorium, and radium. These elements can be absorbed by plants from the soil as they grow. Once incorporated into plant tissues, they emit radiation. The specific types and amounts of radiation depend on the type of radioactive element and its decay products. Cosmic radiation. Cosmic radiation, which originates from outer space, penetrates the Earth's atmosphere and can interact with food products. While this contribution is relatively small compared to other sources of background radiation, it is still a factor to consider. Radiation from Potassium-40 Potassium-40, K-40, is a radioactive isotope of potassium that is naturally present in many foods, especially fruits and vegetables. It is a significant contributor to the natural background radiation from food. As plants absorb potassium from the soil, some of it is in the form of K40, which emits beta and gamma radiation as it decays. Potassium-40, K40, K40 is a radioactive isotope of potassium, and it is present in nearly all foods to some extent because potassium is an essential nutrient for plant and animal life. Fruits, vegetables, and grains tend to have higher concentrations of K40. It primarily emits beta and gamma radiation. Radon-222, RN-222, radon is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless radioactive gas that can seep into the soil and water. It can be absorbed by some foods, especially root vegetables like potatoes and carrots, that grow in soil contaminated with radon. Radon decay products, such as lead-210 and polonium-210, can also be found in these foods. Uranium and thorium. Uranium and thorium are naturally occurring radioactive elements found in trace amounts in some foods. These elements can be absorbed by plants from the soil, and their decay products can contribute to the overall radioactivity of those foods. Cesium-137, Cs-137, while not naturally occurring, Cesium-137 is a radioactive isotope that can enter the food chain through contamination of soil and water, often as a result of nuclear accidents or testing. Foods like mushrooms, wild game, and certain fish may contain Cs-137 if they come from areas affected by nuclear incidents. Different fruits may contain varying amounts of naturally occurring radioactive materials, primarily due to the presence of elements like potassium-40, K-40. The radioactivity levels in fruits are generally low and not a cause for health concern. Here are some examples of fruits and the radioactive materials they may contain. Bananas. Bananas are known for their relatively high potassium content, which includes the radioactive isotope potassium-40, K-40. The radioactivity in bananas is primarily due to K-40, which emits beta and gamma radiation. However, the radiation levels in bananas are extremely low and not harmful to health. Oranges. Like bananas, oranges also contain potassium and trace amounts of K-40. The radiation levels in oranges are similarly negligible and pose no health risks. Avocado. Avocado is another fruit that contains potassium, including K-40. As with other fruits, the radioactivity in avocados is very low and not a concern. Apples. Apples also contain trace amounts of potassium, but the radioactivity from K40 is minimal and not significant in terms of health risk. Papaya. Papaya is another fruit that contains potassium and, by extension, trace amounts of K40. However, the radiation levels in papayas are extremely low and not a cause for concern. Peaches. Peaches, like many other fruits, contain small amounts of potassium and trace levels of K40. The radioactivity in peaches is negligible and not harmful. The levels of background radiation from food are generally very low and not considered harmful to human health. Regulatory agencies set limits on radiation exposure to ensure public safety, and these limits are typically well above the levels found in food. It's important to note that the natural background radiation from food is just one of many sources of background radiation that humans are exposed to on a daily basis. 
Other sources include background radiation from the Earth's crust, building materials, medical procedures, and even the human body itself, from the presence of naturally occurring radioactive isotopes in our tissues. Overall, the radiation dose from consuming fruits, vegetables, and food in general is negligible when compared to other sources of radiation exposure, and it is not a significant health concern for the average person. However, monitoring and regulating radiation exposure in various contexts, including food, remains an important aspect of public health and safety.